Hi, Lindsay. Thank you for connecting. Hi. Just waiting for Amy and Cam or Deputy Mayor Brosma to log on. <clears throat> okay. I was just trying to look back at the email to look at the agenda. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's on our it's on our website. Let me send you the packet. Are you do you have access to your email right now? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I think I see it. Oh. Okay. Just because I don't think I sent the packet. I just published it online. Oh, so okay. Me... Yeah, if you could send that to me. I'm sorry. I thought that's what it was on there. Yeah, then that's okay. I, I like listed everything in the notice, but I didn't attach the agenda just because I uploaded okay. online. But I'm gonna email okay. it to you so you have it right then in there. Great, thanks. Mm Okay, perfect. We have Amy here. Thank you for logging in.
Hey guys, I finally made it. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry about that. I was working right next to City Hall, but I figured it would take me more time to go in there, find my computer, get it booted up, and get in. Then it would to just go home. <laughs> so, all right. So I see there are three of us here, four of us. Um, all right. Do, did you, Jackie, were you able to get a hold of Tom <coughs> or Marty? No, the other two members, um, no response from either. Okay. And that's something we're going to have to talk about as well. So that's, we have to cover that anyway with Marty being, looking at city council. So. All right, well, I'm gonna call this meeting to order and get moving on it if everybody's ready for that. Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. Yep. Good. I've got the city's fancy microphone here and sometimes I forget to pull it from the back of my computer. All right, our active agenda then. First thing is to elect a vice chairperson. Um, who was our previous vice chair? Amy. Amy, that's what I thought. Okay, um, I guess what I'm going to do is open it up to nominations and go from there. Yeah, all right. So do we have any nominations for vice chair? Well, Can Amy do it again? <laughs> I have no problem with it. Does Amy want to do it again? Sure, I'll do it again. Okay. Any, no objections to Amy? Jackie, do you have any objections to Amy? I don't, and I wouldn't be able to vote anyway. <laughs> I under, No, I understand, but from a city's perspective, she doesn't cause you any trouble or headaches or any of that sort of thing. No, I, not at all. I really haven't met anybody who has a problem with Amy in any level. So if you're willing, Amy, to do it again, and it sounds like um, the committee is 100% in favor of you doing that, um, we can just go ahead and declare you the vice chair. All righty. Sounds good. Welcome aboard for another term. <laughs> All right. And thank you for being willing to serve at that at that level. I know it doesn't take a ton of time, but when it does take time, all of a sudden it can hit you really fast. So I've walked into city council meetings where I've been asked to chair the meeting for that night as well and had no previous knowledge of it. So I know how it feels. All right, item B, consider funding a general proposal received from the American Legion Post 73 for 2020 lodging tax funds for improvements at the Jerry Taylor Veterans Plaza and consider recommendation to city council for funding in 2021. Uh, Jackie, you want to give us a little bit of background on that? Sure. Um, so let me just pull up my notes. So in 2020, the American Legion 73 was awarded 17,000 in lodging tax funds for the Jerry Taylor's Veterans Plaza. They didn't spend any of that money due to COVID delaying the shipment of the granite walls. American Legion Post 73 has now received and installed the walls back in May. So now they still owe this amount to their vendor and Greg Schley from the American Legion Post has requested to carry over the $17,000 that that council awarded to them in 2020 to 2021. Um, and so the consideration for LTAC today is um, if you would recommend funding the post for $17,000 in 2021 lodging tax funds for the plaza. Okay, um, any comments from committee members? Amy, do you have any comments or questions about this? So it's technically, they're just asking to spend their money that was awarded to them in 20 to use it in 2021, correct? Correct. Yeah, because as soon as December 31st, any money that's not spent goes back into the regular, like the gen, like we'll just call it like the general plot of the lodging tax fund. Um, that money is still there. Um, so they're just, we just need permission to give it to them in 2021. Okay, Lindsay, any questions or comments? Oh, 
Nope. Okay. Nothing. I, I think that we should, but I didn't know if I was waiting to vote or not. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, we haven't called for the vote yet, but uh, yeah. So <laughs> as I look at it too, um, 2020 was a weird year for everybody on every level. And so I think that, um, you know, these are the kinds of things that we can expect after 2020. We did go ahead and okay that. They went on that okay and purchased those granite blocks and had them installed. Um, they were working on good faith. And I think that it is, you know, probably best for us to go ahead and fund that. We said we would last year. Nothing really has changed from our perspective. So um, I also would be in favor of that. Um, if there's not any further comments, um, I need someone to make a motion. I motion that we fund the American Legion 17,000 for 2021. I second that. That makes it official. All right. So is there any debate on the item before we vote? No. No debate. All right. All in favor of this motion of recommending funding to the American Legion. Legion post for $17,000 in 2021 for improvements at the Jerry Taylor Veterans Plaza. Please signify by saying aye. 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 And I also vote aye. The motion passes. We will bring this on to City Council on Monday evening. Okay. And I can't see why they wouldn't fund that. So. Awesome. So okay. we have. Okay. Let me go back to the packet. All right, there we go. Okay. Item C, consider funding a general proposal received from the Yakima Valley Tourism in 2020 for Sunnyside Marketing Project and consider recommendation to City Council for funding in 2021. Again, Jackie, if you'll refresh our memories. Sure. So um, same thing for this one. They um, were awarded $60,625.95 in lodging tax funds to be spent in 2020. Of that amount, they only used $21,558.88. Um, we received an invoice for 2020, um, their, their like services, but we received it past the accounts payable 2020 due date. And so, again, I, I didn't have permission to pay for this invoice because that funding, um, that funding was done in 2020. So um, we still have that invoice open for $10,000 that's due. So we're just requesting funding from 2020 to be transferred over to 2021 to be used. And again, this is money that we have in the account that was approved to be spent last year and just didn't make the deadline, correct? Correct. All right, so comments. Go ahead, I'm sorry, Jackie. Oh, no, I was just going to repeat that. All right, comments in from committee members. Lindsay. Um, nope, I think it's a, the same thing. If it's something that we had already told them, you know, 2020 was an odd year. Um, but so they did put part of it. They did submit part of it on time. And then just the $10,000 was all that was passed due. Passed yeah, so they do the this. Um, they do several invoices a year. Um, and so this was for the second half of 2020. Um, and our, our invoices were due, are usually due like the second week of January. That's like the latest the 2020 cutoff um, for 2021. Um, and so it they didn't submit it until the end of January. And so it was already past the cutoff date to pay for anything 2020. And so we've just been holding on to it until, you know, until we, we got a recommendation from LTAC to pay for it in 2021. Um, and so they we do have that $10,000 outstanding invoice Okay, Amy, comments? I just want to know what we're paying. What did we get for 20? What was the invoice for? Sure, let me just scroll down. And I think this is just their, like their, what they pay their staff. So 
it says 2020 tourism promotion agreement second half um, on top of, so they always bill us separately for like any brochures, the website charges. Um, and then this is, this is like for Daniel when we call him and say, hey, Daniel, can you submit this to the website or can you make this change for this website? And so I think this is what this is for. So how often do we call them and ask them to, to put stuff on the website or to make some brochures? Do, do they get called very often from us? Um, yes, we do. We ask them, well, not right now because we, you know, 2020 was pretty busy anyways, just because we were like, well, do we cancel? Do we not? And then they also work with um, the other vendors to see if we can get cheaper brochures or the, um, the travel magazines cheaper. They're kind of constantly always working, but um, they do, they, they don't just receive event updates from City Hall, they receive them from the community as well. Um, so that's what they do for us. Okay. I was just curious, you know, that, that's my concern. We're paying out this this money, which, which I don't have a problem with as long as they are doing some work on our behalf with that money. And so that that is my only question there. Uh, other questions from committee members? I don't have any. Okay. I don't have any. Okay. Hearing none, do we have a motion? I motion to uh, pay for that. Was it ten thousand? Okay. Yeah. Yes. The ten thousand from the twenty twenty lodging tax dollars to use for twenty twenty one. All right. And second. I second. Sorry, these are formalities. I understand. There's only two of you. It's going to be one or the other, but uh, still, in order to do it right. So is there any further debate on this motion? No. No. All right. So we have a motion recommending funding Yakima Valley Tourism $10,000 in 2021 for work completed in 2020 on the Sunnyside Tourism Project. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 I also vote aye. And looking that there are no notes, so motion passes. All right. Jackie finished what she's working on here. We get back to the agenda and sorry, I had to find the right the PDF. I pulled up uh, the tourism actual application that they submitted. All right, so we have okay. All right, item D is where we are. Discuss the 2021 Lodging Tax General Cinco de Mayo Festival Sunshine Days Lighted Farm Implement Parade Request for Proposals Noticed. Notice, yes. So um, we are at that time of year again. Um, we do need to do that. I am operating at this point under the assumption that these events are going to be able to go forward. Um, obviously, it appears that we're still not out of the woods. Um, these events could be threatened again. Um, as we're hearing from the governor, he's starting to talk about mask mandates and those types of things again. So um, what is everybody's feelings on these at this point? I'd say we get the proposals in so people can start working or at least they know, you know, they have those events kind of start working. At least for me, that's what I would. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. It would be good to get the notices out and to move along as if um, these will happen for sure, even though we're not 100% sure yet. Well, that's what I was hoping to hear. Um, I know last spring was was painful. I did not enjoy canceling events in the slightest. Um, I want these events to go forward. So um, Jackie's got some dates up 
on the screen there. So um, public notice in the Sunnyside Sun on August 11, 18, and 25, published on the city website on the 11th through September 1. Um, the RFP package available for pickup will be available on August 11 and due to be turned in by September 1. So um, that's at about the same pace that we've done in the past. Um, does anybody have any issues with the dates as we see them? Nope. Okay, and then we go to the review that's, process. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I was gonna say that's the same as, as last year, correct? As far as- Pretty much. Notice in August and through by September, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that seems like a pretty standard way of doing it, I think. Last year, I think we started uh, just a week before, but due to scheduling, we're, we're a week behind, but um, September 1st, we can still do everything. Okay, so then as we look at the review process, um, that would have us reviewing the proposals on September 6th hopefully to pass that on to council with our recommendations on September 13. Um, then in September, we will send out the award notices, contracts issued if it's required, December, January. So we're talking about funding available January, starting January 1 of 2021. Sorry. It's hard to um, there it is, 31st of 22. <laughs> okay, so this is really similar to what we've done in the past. Um, are you guys going to be available to meet on the 6th? Uh, I can, yeah. I'll be a little busy with Sunshine Day stuff, but I'll make it happen. Okay, I got to look at my calendar here. September 6th is a Monday. I just, I just figured the 6th, that way, if you needed, last time we took two days to review it, I think. So okay, that way we had so, time before the 13th. Right, so the 6th is Labor Day. Oh. So then we might run into a little bit of a bind there. Maybe the 7th. What so I was gonna say, just one second, let me check my calendar. So currently I could do that on the 7th. Anybody else have a problem with that? So the 7th, I'm good with the 7th. I can do it on the, the 7th. So let's plan on okay. the 7th. Okay. Does 10 a.m. work for everybody again or? Do you guys prefer afternoon? I can do it in the morning, probably better. In, I mean, I can start as early as eight if, if it comes to that, but. Okay. The morning is, is good. I could not um, be back until probably closer to nine. Okay. But 10 is good for me just because I have the kids to take to school. School will be All in. right, let's keep it at 10. Hopefully it's in person by then. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, we could have had this one in person because we can now have them, but because I had appointments, I'm like, the only way we can make it work is through Zoom. So, but the next one will be in person, I'm sure. All right, that's, that's yeah. And we've all gotten good at Zoom meetings. It's just that we don't necessarily enjoy them. <laughs> so as you look at this timeline, um, is there any concerns about any of these dates on any other level? I'm fine with the time. Uh, no, everything looks good. Yeah, I think we've got, yeah, we we'll get the notices out and get things going. I think we've got good time to do that. So I, I think this is a good timeline. Then let's go ahead and work with this, unless there's objection. Nope. No. 
Awesome. Is this what you wanted, Jackie? I'm sorry, Jackie. That this is perfect. I'll get everything sent out um, so it can be published on Wednesday. Excellent. All right, then we're at number two items from committee members. Does anybody have anything that needs to be brought up? I don't have anything new, but I am curious as far as picking those packets up in the city, is, is the city open for us to come in or do we need to call before? Yes, we are open. Um, and what I normally do is I'll send the packets to everybody that had previously ap applied um, by email and then um, we'll have copies available at City Hall. But yes, you can come in any, I think it's 8.30 to, I think we're open till four, but you can always, you, we're open till five. You can just pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm here to pick up a packet if the door is closed for some reason. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a question. So when you submit, are we able to submit LTAC money for insurance? Yes, because it is uh, operations. It's operation, okay. Okay, other items. Um, just to let everyone know, with Sunshine is a go so far. Uh, no, health department hasn't told me any different. City just signed and approved for um, road closure and stuff like that with the PD fire and all that. So I am working on that. So parade applications and everything will be out um, later today or tomorrow. Um, I am doing it September 11th only because there is um, some really big concerts in and I want um, people to be able to come to Sunnyside um, and enjoy. So I have planned, Walmart is going to do all my printing, but we're gonna do like honor our heroes and have people walk in with, um, they can turn in a picture and we'll get it printed off with the military a photo. And then kind of like what Lilac does in Spokane and walk through the parade. Hmm. Yes. Cool. Well, I'm glad to hear that that is moving forward. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, and it's our first, uh, Friday will be the first home football game for the Grizzlies. I did talk to Mr. Uh, Dave Martinez. Um, and so we're going to try to get something going there and incorporate that with Sunshine Days. Awesome. So that's not going to be the homecoming game, though, is it? Uh, no, it's not the homecoming game. It's just the first football game for Sunnyside. Okay. Yes. Still, I think we're all going to be happy to have a football game and a parade and something that vaguely resembles life as normal. Yes. That makes me happy. So I have an item as well. It's just something that we need to be thinking about um, with Mr. Henry's resignation uh, from city council. His opponent in this election was Mr. Beeler. And so um, he is not, if, and it's pretty, he'll probably be appointed, but um, he won't be able to be on the LTAC. He hasn't really been participating for the last while. Anyway, we do need to think about getting some people who represent the hotels, motels, lodging side of the city on this committee. So um, that's something that to be thinking real hard about so that we can be properly represented and meet all the criteria necessary for this committee to exist. So um, keep that in your mind as we go forward. Our next item, number three, items from staff members. Jackie, what have you got for us? Um, the thing I wanted to tell you guys was about Mr. Beeler. Um, if there is a vacancy on the lodging tax committee, then um, we already have planned to reach out to pull all of the people that have licenses for hotels in Sunnyside um, and then um, send them a letter letting them know, hey, we have an opening if anyone is interested in their manager or the owner to help us out with this because it is kind of it's hard to just do everything with three the three of you which is you guys are great because you through the three are enough but you know 
in case one of you can't make it or something, then we have another person. And also it's nice because I remember Tom, when he was on the, well, when he was coming, he would have great questions because he knows, he knows the numbers, what it takes to, you know, this is how many rooms I need to book to make up for this money that I'm giving you. So um, <clears throat> that's really, that's really nice. Um, so I, I, though, you know, we have a plan to work something out. Hopefully we can get some applications in. Yeah, I really would like to see that as well. I am disappointed that Mr. Denley isn't really participating anymore because even though he pushed us a little bit and could get frustrating from time to time, he had some valuable points that um, caused us to reconsider and, and, and think things through a little bit better. And so we do need to find somebody who challenges us some of these things that has a different perspective than, than the rest of us. So um, yeah, whatever we can do to get some people to uh, want to participate on this committee. It's not hard to do. Um, it just takes a little time once in a while. So, have um, Jackie, have you reached out to uh, Tom as far as just setting a representative for him, you know, a, a manager or anything that could make the meetings? I talked to him at our last, our last time that we were meeting, and I can't remember when that was. And I said, you know, even if it's just your manager, because I know his manager. Um, had planned like talk awards, which was a really good event. Um, mm -hmm. But he said, you know, he would be available, but he was constructing uh, another hotel. So it was kind of difficult for him. But um, I don't know if he seriously thought about sending his manager or not. Um, but the next time I do get a hold of him, like actually get a response from him, then um, I'll mention it to him again. But I have talked to him about it. Okay. Okay, so future agenda items. I think we've talked about that a little bit. Our next meeting is, about, is going to be all about looking at the um, proposals that have been submitted. And um, we may talk a little bit about anybody who we can get on this committee again until we get the committee properly filled. Um, is there other agenda items that anybody is aware of or would like to have considered? It's not an agenda, but um, just in case uh, so I know I get asked to um, when the lodging tax dollars when people can submit. Um, Walmart is looking for, um, so we have grants. So if they submit a grant, as of right now, nobody's really submitted a grant. So we do have money there. Um, and our store manager looks at it locally. She's the one that approves it. Um, and she does ask me, hey, what's this about or what's that? So if they, you know, if anybody that's, you know, they can't make the lodging tax dollars or they don't meet the right criteria, let them know that we do have some funding there for the grants. And if they submit it, um, our store manager locally looks at it. That is good to know. Yeah, so she does let me know. She does ask me, um, hey, you know, do you know this? Um, you know, what do they do for the community? Stuff like that. Um, and they do submit a little, it's a brief little what they're about, what they do and stuff. So um, she likes to try to keep it here locally, um, you know, Grandview, Toppenish, the areas here. Um, but as of right now, nobody has submitted anything. Well, and that will be really good for the next meeting when we go through. If there's anything that we can't approve, um, we can send them that direction and they have uh, further hope to continue. So that's, that's good to know. Thank you for that. Yeah, and then I know that um, the American Legion Post, their invoice was like thirty or forty thousand dollars, like total, and so they obviously do their own fundraising. But that would be nice. I'll I'll, I'll let Greg know so that he can submit an application through Walmart. Maybe they can help out. Yeah, we did give the VFW oh, money last last year, I believe it was, um, for their post. Oh, okay, perfect. I'll remind him. All right, so our next meeting, I think we've already set the date and time uh, for the 7th at 10 a.m. And we are going to proceed if it's, as if it's going to be at City Hall in the conference room. Mm -hmm. so, or the fire department, one of those. Whichever one works the best. If the city's got something going on in the conference room, the fire department's also a good room, so. Yep. And we will let y'all know 
Any other items for the good of the cause? No. Okay, well, I don't have anything either, unless there's objection. We are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you for all your help. Thank you. You're the one who does all the work here, actually, so. <laughs> no, I, you guys got to make the important decisions. <laughs> you guys have a hard job. So, anyway, thanks a lot. You guys have a great day. Thank you, too. Bye.